Welcome back to Good Morning America Health. I'm Tanya Rivero. Losing weight can be hard, and there's a lot more to it than just eating better foods or hitting the gym more often. Your mental approach also plays a big role. And Desiree Gallus, the Special Projects Director at Men's Fitness Magazine, is here with tips for reprogramming our brains when it comes to living a healthier life. Hi, Desiree. Great to see you again. You too. Thank you so for So what me. role does our brain play in getting our bodies fit? A huge role, because at the end of the day, how you mentally approach fitness and nutrition nutrition is going to have so much to do with your ability to succeed. Without it, you're really setting yourself up for failure. And there are a lot of ways that we kind of psych ourselves out by Absolutely. telling ourselves certain misconceptions. 100%. And if you don't start training your brain right, you're never going to be able to train your body and have a drastic physical difference in how you look. Absolutely. So let's start with one of the most common misconcep misconceptions, which is that if I'm working out, that means I can eat more. You really can't eat more, and a lot of times that happens when it comes to diet food. Not what you want to do, because even though it's healthier than other options like full fat salad dressing or chips or something, if you're doing the lighter version, that doesn't mean you can load up on it. And that's the common mistake people make, is because it's healthier food, you just pile it onto your plate. Right. You want to avoid doing that. You really need to stick to smaller portions, because there's a huge difference between healthy food and healthier food. Healthy food, fruits, vegetables, lean protein, that you can eat, but it's when you're sort of doing those sugar-free cookies and stuff that are, yeah. they're healthier than the original options, but they're still not great. Exactly, and you definitely want to keep yourself limited to small serving sizes. And also don't tell yourself that just because you're working out every day, that means you deserve a little treat or a reward every no, day. No, 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 definitely not, because if you reward yourself every day, first of all, you're going to be undoing everything you work so hard for that entire day, and there's a lot that goes into it, eating mm -hmm. right, going to the gym, and you're going to start undoing the results and packing on pounds. And another real thing is you want that carrot to sort of dangle at the end of the yes. week. You want that reward to be after succeeding all week at being healthy, eating right, and doing what you're supposed to be doing for your body. And you really want that to be sort of the carrot at the end of the Absolutely. week. Absolutely. Don't sabotage yourself nope. by making it daily. No. And if you need a reward, focus on how fabulous you feel after you get out of the gym, that sort of endorphin high, mm -hmm. how just empowered you feel. That's the reward in and of itself. Right, absolutely. Remember that. Remind yourself. <laughs> Another thing that we have to remind ourselves is that when we get stressed, turning to food is not the way we want to calm ourselves down. No. While you may think it's going to help, the only thing that's going to do is set you up in a habit of eating every time you're stressed. And at the end of the day, I don't care how good the food is, it's not going to take away the actual problem, the reason you're feeling stressed. So the best thing you can do is sort of look at the triggers, what's causing you to get so stressed, and go from there. And do little things for, like, tiny little coping mechanisms, even just going for a walk around the block or around your office if you don't have time, or doing something for yourself, either breathing exercises or if you're at work and you're super stressed, just make your doctor's appointment that you've, that's that been hanging over your head forever. Right. Just little things that are going to help you feel better about yourself de-stress you, but don't turn to food because then you're going to get in that vicious cycle. Once you eat it, then the self-hatred comes back and no, it's a total disaster and you're more stressed by the end. Remember those words that have served the Queen of England so well. Keep calm and carry on. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love that? I love that. That's my motto to live by now. Oh, I love it. I need that embroidered on <laughs> a pillow. That's right. I, I think it should be on a pillow. Keep calm and carry on. Now, another thing that everybody wants, I mean, most people who are working out and eating right will tell you that one of their goals is to have fantastic six-pack abs, mm -hmm. right? But we have to remember that that's often the last thing you get. Absolutely. The thing is, people need to shift their focus. When you're just concentrating on your abs, your mind is in the, in the total wrong mindset. What you have to do is focus on a whole body approach to fitness because that's the only way you're going to get yeah. great abs is by toning your whole body. I once had a trainer that told me, which I think is so true, that when people start to lose weight, you lose it from your extremities first. Mm -hmm. And the middle is the last area of your body that gets into shape. And it's also one of the hardest yeah. areas to get into shape. Yeah. So what you want to do is really just focus on the small incremental improvements in your mind and your body. And go from there and set small goals for yourself, little things that you can achieve. Don't focus on the overall goal, which is, oh, I'm going to have this ridiculously hot body by summer. That's great, and you definitely want to have that goal, but you have to set smaller goals that you can start ticking off 
quickly instead of focusing on how you're going to look in six months focus on going to the gym three times a week because right. then you're going to feel like you've succeeded at something right absolutely and, and we need to be motivated but here's the tricky part we also need to be motivated by the right things correct yes, I mean absolutely saying that we want to get the guy or the girl maybe short-term motivation absolutely but that's not going to work for the long haul no it'll it can spur you, it can get you going, but at the end of the day, unless it comes from within, you're not gonna have long-term fitness. It's just, it's impossible. Continually challenge yourself, because if you're not the one that's pushing you to go to the gym and eat right, you're gonna find too many reasons to let yourself off the hook. You get in a fight with this person. Right. You're it's over. fitness and nutrition, done. You guys break up. No, you need your motivation to be you, how good you feel, how amazing you look, and wanting to be healthy for yourself. Right, your long-term health mm -hmm. goals. And, you know, it does take some behavior modification. It's easy to yes. tell ourselves, I really don't need to change anything. But you do. You do, and it's really difficult. But unless you start changing your lifestyle and the way you eat, you're not going to be successful. And a lot of times, the problem can run into being sabotaged totally by accident by family and friends. Yeah. And they don't mean to do it, but when they suggest that extra serving at dinner or bake you your favorite dessert or want to go to the movies instead of you going to the gym, they're kind of yeah. taking you away from your long-term so goals. So how do you deal with that, though? I mean, do you sit mom down and say, look, I appreciate that you made my favorite pie, but don't make me feel guilty by yes, forcing me to eat a that is a great way to handle it. And also, just don't be swayed. And if, if you want to say that or just saying, oh, no, thank you, when mm -hmm. the cake comes your way, Definitely deal with it. And then if you have specific people in your life that are really giving you a hassle about trying mm -hmm. to eat well and going to the gym, then you really need to just... Think about whether they should be in your life. Be, think <laughs> about whether they're going to be in your life. Make sure that you really sit them down and talk to them about right. it. And at the end of the day, it's how you feel about yourself, so don't be swayed. That's right. All right, Desiree Gallas, thank you so much You're for all welcome. those great tips. And if you are looking for more diet and wellness tips, be sure to check out the health page at abcnews.com.